people go into entrepreneurship and uh, even it's not even set on entrepreneurship it's, you know dealing with your personal finances uh, uh, your family and everything and you know and, and have different uh, ways about going and tonight we're talking about emotions and money or money and emotions mm-hmm. whereas there are so many people that look at where they're at in life and look at other people or feel that they in a good spot and they know everything and they're making all kind of decisions but probably ain't the best decision mm-hmm. because they got something in their pocket called money right and so we want to have a discussion tonight about you know when people you know you're feeling down you ain't got enough you feel impulsive because you feel like things ain't going as fast as you want to be or you're making moves that you know you normally would move because you feel like you got more money than you normally have so i want to have a, a discussion tonight you know to talk about getting money and emotion mm-hmm. but before we get started we'll say what's up to my uh, awesome producers dj lab what's going on hey uh i'm gonna give you two seconds to pull them mics up properly i'm gonna turn them off for a minute and let you pull them up <laughs> Yeah, we getting it together. This live show, so it is live. Hey, mama. What's up, mama? <laughs> okay, that's we, better. We good now? Yeah. Okay, appreciate it, lab. But yeah, what's up? First again, what's up, the Miles producers, DJ Lab, and uh, Slick in the building, as what's, always. What's up, Reek? <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Um, uh, right in with streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. Mm. So. Again, a nice topic we're discussing money and emotions. Um, again, I, a reason why I want to have this discussion because, again, I had so many situations. Me being an accountant, me being a financial expert, and I do think I'm an expert, um, I see so many times people will, you know, come to me, hey, hey, D, I'm thinking about doing this, I'm thinking about doing that. I'm like, why you want to do it? Because, man, you know, it's about time. Right. I got love and run into some money. So I got some right. money and I want to invest. It's you know, always by uh, time. <laughs> man, you know how dangerous that is. You feel like you done got some money and now you want to do something. Right. Impulsive. Right. You know, without really still knowing. I never have people come to me and say, well, look, man, uh, uh, I'm looking to think about what to spend the money on, how to go about doing. You know, just the whole, you know, educating themselves part. Uh-huh. They come to me when they, you know, get ready to start go mode. <laughs> <laughs> they don't come to you from the beginning. They come oh, to you in the no. middle. Hell no. They already yeah. made up their mind. Hell no. We finna get this food truck. <laughs> we finna get this food truck. And then you got to fix it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> food truck. Right, right. They finna buy some, um, what it is, the moonwalk, <laughs> pressure washer, <laughs> shit. Long old kid, man, shit. Hey, man, let's sit there and do some write stuff on paper. Get some, right, right. some figures in a, a Get a little, business plan uh, together. Yeah, some little blueprint. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Uh, oh, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Listen, we was at a family reunion. I fried some fish right. and everything. Everybody, man, everybody, everybody it. eating it every for real, man. They'll come back for more and more. You know, girl, like, look, man, it don't make sense for us to keep on trying to, you know, scratch around. We need to go on and sell this fish. They make this happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you make the best fish in the city, man, for real. <laughs> you know, my everybody digging your wing. Everybody love everybody wings. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what a what a hood girl like that pasta salad. <laughs> pasta salad, yeah. <laughs> That's like a hood girl delicacy. Pasta salad. Right, right. <laughs> Mac and cheese. <laughs> That, yeah. that Texas mac and cheese. Yeah. I put bacon in mine. Oh, man. <laughs> Every hood, girl. That's their mac and cheese. That's right. their holy grail. I can make me some mac and cheese. But, again, you know, again, we're talking about tonight's show. We're talking about money and emotions because, you know, I, 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 the reason why, you know, a lot of times I think people are in issue or a situation where they have, like, you know, problem with money or they're feeling, you know, happy, depressed or whatever. It really depends on how much you got. Mm-hmm. And the the funny part about that is that's all relative. Right. Because a lot of times you'll feel like, okay, I don't have enough or I feel like I got enough. But the, well, it, it, the number amount is based off how you feel relative you li- other people. Okay. Okay. You If you kind of like got some kind of financial background, you might say, well, look, I need X amount of dollars. That why I can cover myself. Da 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 da. Mm-hmm. Most time it's when, you know uh, when people just feel like they got 
some kind of windfall of money they can do the same, mm. i.e. tax time, you know, because, you know, folks, tax time come, people ready to damn <laughs> shit. They buy the house with the tax oh, money. The, <laughs> what? They getting spots for their little biz, and they ain't, they ain't doing out their house no more. They going to get a whole physical building. You see that? What's going on, Angela? How you doing, man? Appreciate everybody tuning in. Again, we stream live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, and uh, I ain't forgetting that, did I? I think we got everything. Yeah, I think so. But I appreciate everybody tuning in. Again, tonight we're talking about money and emotions. But you know, man, that's the thing about it. It's all relative. Because if I feel like being a lab hanging and I got some money in my pocket, but I feel like I got more than lab, mm -hmm. I'm good. Or right. I got just as much as lab, I'm okay. Okay. And that's where things get real funky. Mm -hmm. So it's something in your mind that you feel that way. And I'm going to tell you something that's funny, right? You know, this ain't putting nobody on front street. I've been out of high school over 25 years. I remember... That first class union, what you know, class president. So I, I, I feel pretty proud about every five years except COVID. And again, ninety five, y'all don't get upset with me. We're gonna do something this year. <laughs> I promise. But religiously, every five years since I graduated from high school, we have had a class reunion. Okay. Every five years. All right. You know, on point. And in between, still hung out, right? Uh huh. And I said my class was pretty close, but I remember that first reunion. Something that stuck out with me was. When I was reaching out to everybody, because normally the time people have a class reunion maybe 10 years mm -hmm. or 20 years, whatever. Right. When I had a couple people say to me they weren't ready to meet because they didn't feel like they were where they supposed to be at. Mm -hmm. And I've always been the type of person, like, I don't give a damn what you got. Like, I, that ain't my business. Mm -hmm. Like, I can care less what you got. You know, if I pull up in my pencil, that's my pencil. That's I just want to see, I just want to see everybody hang out. Right. Like, I'm not you know there you know anybody knows me and i'm not saying the way i think is right um but i don't post my car my my money my house or, or nothing right. I, I might say post with the business stuff going on with my children i ain't saying that's the right way or just but it's just what i do so, and i don't get into it you know but i see when people post their new car new house that's cool you glad proud you got it got great right but i i don't think People should base their happiness off what the hell you got in comparison to what other people have. Uh, yeah. That's you know true. what I'm saying? But you know that's what that's what that's what goes on now with social media. Yeah, that's but see, 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 there's the flip side of that is now you put yourself in a position you constantly got to try to keep up and compete. Mm -hmm. Unconsciously, because you may not necessarily say I'm trying to get what I've got or whatever, but because I see you doing it, I want to do that. Well, I want to Psychologically, you you. you um, Making yourself depressed because you you may not be able to keep up. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. Even though you want to try to keep up, and you say you're not in competition, you know, psychologically we're in competition and we're depressed because we're saying to ourselves, "Well, how he able to do this, yes. and I ain't able to do this." Hey, I can talk what about he it. doing different, and hey, I ain't doing different. I don't know which one of my children logged in. Hell, I'm feeling about that. I'm at my house having a damn gender reveal. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Right. I don't know which one of my children on, <laughs> but Paw Paw over there like, hey, what the hell are we doing? Right. You know, and it's just, you know, that's some old internet COVID stuff. <laughs> Got a gender reveal over my house. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking around. Ken Meadows said, what's going on, brother? Mm, what's happening? What's happening? Stanley, Stanley Gore said, what's good? What's going on, cuz? What's happening? Cuz, I appreciate cuz over there with me this morning, man. Try to get that, uh, 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 the board together, right, man. Right. I appreciate you tuning in, cuz. <laughs> It's a tricky thing. Damn, I'm off of that little operation game back in the day. But, you know, again, you know, people look at it in regards to that. So I want to, you know, and I remember that, you know, people like, man, Pooch, I don't know if I'm coming, man, because I don't know this and I don't, you know, I might got a kid. But, man, I don't give a damn. I can't, you know, because we were five years out of graduation. You're, what, 21, 22? Mm -hmm. Am I right? My damn wrong? <laughs> no, 24, 25? Maybe something like that. You 18, 19, graduate, 18 plus 5, 23. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I, you know what? Well, 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 Lab was a damn boy wonder. <laughs> Lab was Doogie Howser graduating, graduating at 12 <laughs> from high school. He was Doogie Howser and shit. So. <laughs> Not to I, brag, I, you I know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, us dumb folks, us spades. <laughs> us spades to graduate at 18. <laughs> Unlike Lab. Yeah. <laughs> We so you look at you, man. You crazy, here. so you say you're 25. You know, we're like, what the hell is expected from you? 
Right. And I just remember that, man, because I'm just like, hey, man, let's go have a good time. But that was just one of the things that early on caught me, like, y'all think about this, because, you know, I'm straight out, I'm fresh out of active duty in front of the military. Right. I'm ready to party, this, that, and that, you know, this. And it have would just catch time. me like, you know, I had never, ever, because, you know, when I used to come home visiting, you know, I rent a car, go party, right? go back. Never was a, I ain't never been into, I like, I always like dressing and stuff, but I ain't never been into, you know, competing or whatever, mm -hmm. fight, or even care about what you got, you right. know. You got something, you happy, hey man, congratulations. I'm happy for you. Yeah, uh, and again, I get that disclaimer, I ain't saying the way I think it's right, but just I always been that way. But emotionally, a lot of things are crafted, you know, depending on how, where we at status-wise. Mm -hmm how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about, you know, our children, the aesthetics, the home, the car, and stuff, you know, kind of basing that with that. Regardless of uh, how true it may be, it may be, you know what I'm saying? Right, Because right. you go to that car lot, you know, when you're riding, what do we ask you? What do you want to pay a month? Right. And from that point, you look, you're not looking at, you know, from the lens of, like, finance person, I'm gonna get this car that's for fifteen thousand. That thought they don't strung out of your payments for ten years. I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's for ten. For I'm, real quick. I'm paying eighty thousand dollars <laughs> on this damn Focus because <laughs> I need a car so bad. You right, feel me? Right. But that's the thing about it. Just being able to sit there and say like, "No, nah, I, I, uh, I don't want to put myself in these situations." Uh -huh. And far too often, people do that all the time. And one of the things I think, what they say, we do sit around, and I think it's, 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 it's human nature mm -hmm. to sometimes want like, dang, man, you know, hey, you know, you're doing pretty good, especially we go through the whole pill stage. You say, okay, I get out of high school, see my partner, he doing good. You ain't even hating. Mm -hmm. You ain't even jealous. But sometimes you just kind of look at yourself. Shit, he at the same point where I am life-wise. Mm -hmm. Should I have that? Right. Or this, that, and that. You're not thinking about what the hell this person doing. Or if be good, be hard work. If they lucky, if they damn selling dope, or they, they got doing somebody some skiing, oh, uh, uh, you know exactly. Financial backup. Oh, uh, exactly. Uh, you ain't even look at a tag. See, you say peaches. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see the brother with them old uh, AKA yeah. tags? <laughs> Delta sign. No, yeah. no, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, the guy. I've been telling you, I've seen the guy riding around with that AKA. <laughs> right. Skid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what was you doing? I kind of shot at my girl. Oh, no, no, fraternity no, with no pink and green. What you doing? <laughs> Laid back in that thing. In your girl car. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get how you live. Yeah, get how you live. <laughs> but, you know, really, like I said, again, sometimes people look at that and say, hey, man, where, well, you know, should I be in a different spot? Should I be further along? And I want to have a discussion tonight, and I want everybody to feel free to tune in. You know, again, we're just being transparent and just kind of kicking it. How does our emotions craft how we feel about we as far as money? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I think it plays a bigger role than a lot of people give credit to. And I think, I think uh, emotions plays a, a very big role when it comes to money. Like, it's just, like, that's why, you know, you think about, and I'm just going to go off go a little sideways you think about relationships and how money plays a big role in some relationships you know uh lasting or not lasting you know nobody wants to struggle a lot of times people don't want to struggle with the person they with they, they struggling for too long so it's like i don't want to do this no more money plays a big role in those emotions to, to move on so especially you know kind of depending on where you at if you know again you know just say you starting off and you and that you younger mm -hmm. you younger you're in your building phase and you you feel like damn we building forever like damn this ain't the art. <laughs> God damn. Been building for fifteen years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> damn. We've been in such and such garden apartments fifteen down time. Right. You, you told me you gonna buy me a house, boy. Right. <laughs> you know, we've been living in the gardens forever. Right. <laughs> right. And, and, and and even on the other side, just say if you're older, you know you know you be like us north for forty, like. Shit, I ain't really trying to build now. Mm -hmm. And you go into it like, man, I don't feel like I done, my kid is grown. I ain't trying to sit here and do this you all know, stabilize. Exactly. Right. Do all this stuff again, you know, 
take care of you, take care of your kids and all. I'm just trying to go have some fun and go fishing. <laughs> right, right. But again, a lot of times, you know, we, 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 we put that in ourselves, how we feel good about it. And I, I don't, I don't want to have no uh, lecture with people just in terms of, you know, what you got, what, how much money you got, the car to tell you uh, how to feel about yourself. If you feel good because you got money, you got certain things, that's great. Uh-huh. I get it. But the problem that comes up with that is things come and go. They're like looks. They fade. And depending on what happened in life, you know, that, that, that stuff, excuse me, you get a rug put up on you real quick. Mm-hmm. We joke about it, keeping it real. How many folks still got their PPP money? Yeah. Right. How many folks got a disaster money? Right. One or two purchases. And that's what people are doing now. They damn, you know, damn they're selling dates. I'm saying dates <laughs> for gas. Right. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> but also on that note with the with the business and growing and, and and you know, building with someone and money and emotions, you know, you may have an issue where y- you may have a good plan, you may have one or your mate may have one. And one of y'all is not executing on the plan, so that creates a money issue because the plan that you have, you know, you're like, okay, we're going to get together and we're going to build this together. You might be younger. Say, let's say y'all 25. Y'all say, we're going to get this together. We're going to build this together. So by 50, we could retire. But that whole time y'all trying to build, it's always a, a bump in the road. Somebody can't keep a job. Somebody's spending more than they should be. Somebody not taking advantage of the classes or whatever. So that that building becomes a... a uh, weight on your shoulders and because of the person you you know what I'm saying the person you with is not executing what y'all had come together and did, did before and that's a part of emotions and money now you're upset and you pissed off because this person didn't execute and you 53 and you still got to work and you had a big old plan at 25 that we're going to be retired you get what I'm saying by this time and your ass ain't going no damn no way <laughs> your ass Walk, welcome to Walmart my help <laughs> you I said my granddad say all the time my grandma when these kids get grown I'm getting the hell on. That was just his thing. <laughs> get the hell on, my grown. Get the hell on. Right. Ain't nobody going no damn well. Ain't nobody <laughs> had no damn money. <laughs> you know, what's, what's the term you hear all the time when you say folks like, you know, people are dating, especially like older people. When I say older, let's say 35 and up. I'm going to get somebody that I'm equally yoked. Right. We're equally yoked. Right. You know, God has sent them to me and everything. And they great. Mm-hmm. I mean, they look good. They're smart. The sex is great. Mm-hmm. They're fun. But oh Lord, <laughs> they, money they got that old student loan. <laughs> they got that child support. Right, right. They got that bad credit, <laughs> garnishment. What happened to the yoke? Right. <laughs> you put the yoke back in the head. Right. <laughs> that shit, that shit rotting. What happened to your boy Wanda? Right. Oh man, I mean, shout it straight, man. No, nah, you know, man, she went to Georgia State and nah. all that kind of stuff. Now she went down in the city, man. For real, got her own office and everything. I done heard this stuff before. You heard this stuff? Yeah, shout it straight, you man. Like you you heard it before. Yeah, I done heard it before, man. You sit down, you know, you see, you see your buddy, man. He pissed off about a month or two later. Man, man, damn, man, I got to pay this old girl. Did that and that. I thought she had a good job. I thought she went to Georgia State. Right. I, and all that stuff. Like, yeah, man, but hell. You know, I ain't know she, you know, done all defaulted on this loan and we can't even go get this and that and everything on me and all that kind of stuff. Well, what happened to the yoke? <laughs> you right. know, God sent them to me. Right. Mm. I think a lot of people base their happiness mm-hmm. off money. Like some people worship money. Like they like money is they thing. They, they hoarding it. They, they stuffing it here. They hiding it there. And to be honest with you, not... For me personally, I never had it. Even though I went to college and all that, I got I went to college on a grant. You know, the reason why I graduated high school, I ain't ashamed to say it because I went to, I was going to school, summer school, in order to eat because we didn't have no, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have no, you know, a lot of money. We didn't have money at all. So a lot of times there was days I didn't I couldn't eat. So summertime I know where I could eat at at least two meals. So uh-huh. I would go to summer school to do that. In Chicago we could go for free. And once I started going and going to classes, you know, that's how I was able to graduate early. But at the same time, you know, I've never had money, so I don't really worship it like that. I, I mean, I get the premise of it, but I don't. I've never had it to where I feel like if I don't have it, oh my, the the, the world's going to end because I've always we've always made a way. Even when I was married and had children, you know, we struggled a lot, but. We were going to college, we were working, we were doing all these other things, so we always made a way. You get what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. figure it's always, if you 
if you're gonna do it, you're gonna always make way. Nobody's gonna be homeless, but I'm not gonna sit up here and stress every day about money. It's just not gonna happen. You know, you know, something, you know, and, and, and that's a good point. And, 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 and nobody really, people sit there and say, I don't trip about it, whatever. But just say, just say you're okay. Mm -hmm. you, 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 in life, man, we all have those things that kind of probably put triggers on us with that. You know, you pull up to work, you go to your job parking lot, you like, shit, what up, poop? What going on, boy? You like, how the hell? How the hell he get that Mercedes? Now, I know he makes the same man I make. What are right. you doing? Right. What's going on? Do I need to pull a couple more orders? Or what, I mean, what? <laughs> What the hell going on? Right. Because, you know, you go to a, it could be a warehouse. Uh-huh. And that damn parking lot look like a smorgasbord. And you sitting out the, <laughs> the damn <laughs> supervisor in the Camry, but everybody on the floor, right. well, they exotic. Exotic. You think everybody you in foreign. damn Europe. You're like, what the? How the hell you get the Lambo driving the forklift? <laughs> <laughs> I done seen it. Yeah, he can't make money. <laughs> but you're trying to figure out how the hell. I just got, seen it. I done been at the warehouse working part time, and the, and the lot was full of cars. I was like, Jesus Christ! I must say, paying an hour up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of time to get my dad Jordan. I don't know if you remember Jordan. They uh -huh. used to be over there on Bankhead. They had one in uh, I don't even know. They still open the buy here, pay here. Just like you know, just like that pretty that that, that down set the club. She looked good, but but she's sick on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> It look good on the lot, but boy, you drive a mile down the road, it's going to cut off on you. As long as it sit there, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. that, one, that buy here, pay here, get you. Wow, man, it's all shined up. Well, you're down down the road. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. God, no. What Slick say is not worship. It's not worship. It's, it's budget and savings. No, I, I, but, but the thing of it is, what's the thing with budget and saving? It right. takes time. Uh -huh. I ain't got time to waste. Man, when people, when people call me, hey, Deontay, ready to start this business up and everything, I want to do this, that, and that. What do you think I should invest in? Okay, cool. Now, we're talking about paid clients. Mm -hmm. We go through it. Okay, cool. Now, if you do this, this, that, and that, you purchase this, at this point, you know, if you wait a year, then we can, you can roll over and do these particular things and invest in that. A year? Who the hell got a year? <laughs> no, nah, man, uh-uh, uh-uh, my, uh, my man told me he got some Bitcoin, right. and, and they flipped his house. Right. Like, no, nah, man, look, for what you need to do, you need All to right. do this, that, and that. It, it moving too slow. Too slow. It's too slow. So for whatever reason, that emotion, that impatience, that uh, uh, resentment, whatever the other person got this, they got it, all this stuff triggering. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And sometimes, you know, and, 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 and how can I put it? Uh, you don't necessarily know if it is a point uh -huh. where you got enough because, you could be sitting on money. I know cats. I know got change, uh -huh. and they still try to do stuff. You be like, hey, bro, what you what you want? Right now, that may just be driven to have more uh -huh. and have no plan on how the hell they're gonna spend the money, what they're gonna do, anything like uh -huh. that. But they're constantly trying to get, trying to get you what, whatever. I don't, and that may be might not necessarily be money driven. But I've had cats like, man, if I could do this, I could be making this, making that. Damn, bro, you pull about. Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars in there a month, man. Right. Well, how much more? Well, what you need? What you gonna do with that? <laughs> you know, but they want more. Some something is pushing it, uh -huh. and a lot of times people don't want to say it, but our emotions do make us want to do certain mm -hmm. things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, you know, just just you know, sp uh, uh, speaking of myself, like, and I'm, I'm comfortable, but I done messed up money, mm -hmm. and I kind of say not. I, ain't, I I've never been the part where I say I messed it up. Um, trying to keep up with folks. Right. Yeah, I messed up money, probably in the education of money. Mm -hmm. So when I got my second go round, uh, you know, <laughs> right. I was able to keep it and make it grow. Mm -hmm. But I think it's kind of hard to be comfortable, comfortable until you get it, mess it up, and then get it the back. End. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's kind of what I've, I've experienced. I've seen people that probably. In similar situations, they had to go through that whole little gamut. Not that, not the whole point of you know blowing it, uh -huh. thinking you're doing it, and then now. Cause I mean, anybody know me? One of my biggest things growing up, you know, bankhead and everything. I just, I always said I, ain't, I wasn't gonna be no used to be person. Right. I was not gonna be sitting. You know, ever talk to my old dope dealers? I mean, I man, we used to do this, do shit. You supposed to ball hard in your thirties, then you did in your twenties. Mm -hmm. You ball hard in your forties, then in your in your, in your thirties. Right. And your fifties, you still balling harder. Right. You know, you ain't, I ain't finna be sitting there 
And when I say that, I'm not talking about still trying to party, but you can move better. I ain't right. nowhere in the hell. I, I was, I just, that was my thing. Right. Wasn't even about the money. I just was not going to be Reminiscing talking about, about the good 20s. old days. <laughs> you know, when I was 27. I was able to do this. I right. had this. Hell, I had the same damn thing. Right. You know, if I wanted, I can, and I can, can get more. That was just always me. But, again, because of emotions, again, mm-hmm. like I said, it can be resentment, jealousy, uh, greed. Or it can just be a uh, determination. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't necessarily be nothing negative. But I think people need to be realistic about whatever their triggers are emotionally that cause them to want more money. Is it going to be beneficial to them in the long run of life? You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's why I think a lot of folks don't want to uh, uh, assess themselves with. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, man, look, you know, bro, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is fine. But because, like, social media, and you see it. Folks put in, like, I, I'm giving that disclaimer again. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I've seen folks put, you know, the car, the house, and shit, you know, five, six months later. Mm-hmm. Hey, can y'all help us out? This, that, and that coming <laughs> on. Right. You know, can't do this, can't do that, and everything. And I ain't never trying to trip on nobody's misfortune because anybody can have it. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, did you cause it yourself? Right. Gotta you know, look at, look at what, you know, what, what's the cause. Exactly. You know, sicknesses and things like that stuff happen. I mean, I went through a whole divorce. Mm-hmm. And my ex-wife, I think she thought she it was like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get him money. <laughs> Gotta get him money. Right, right. <laughs> you know, she was playing. All her friends. get They had my girl, get it. Girl, get it. <laughs> Let's go! It's time to party. Shit, boy. So I, I understand. Right. But at the end of the day, you still got to ask yourself, look, look, hey, man, where you going to be cool at? Mm-hmm. Because one thing about it, we we all can agree, the best things in life are free. Mm-hmm. Now, again, is life a little bit more fun when you got a little money in your pocket? Absolutely. Right. You know, because one part you're talking about, another part you're experiencing. Right. There ain't nothing damn like <laughs> So I ain't going to sit here and tell you, you know, just give all your worldly items out and, and just live in a cardboard box. But I am saying, you know, sometimes we need to kind of just really assess ourselves and see what's important. Got a question, Son Lab? Yeah. Darius uh, Card. Mm-hmm. Economics are not taught in school or home. Being informed is the key. Being informed is the key, and that's a good point. And, and let's expand on that. And I appreciate you tuning in. When the, the point you brought up, the economics not taught in school and being informed is the key. This is the, this is, this is the thing about it. Is at the end of the day, let's be real. Let's be real. At 15, 16, 17, 18, high school year. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait a if, if somebody tried to teach you basic banking, financial principles, and all that stuff, would you want to listen? No. Okay. No. Okay, so somebody nah. teaching you present value, future value. My grandma uh, worked at the bank, and she tried to teach me sometimes how to write text. I ain't got time for that, Grandma. It's four girls on this front porch. It's uh, four, four fast tail girls on this front porch. I'm trying to see what they got going on. I'm mad at the program at Harper Woods Financial Services. Mm-hmm. And shit, you probably what eight or nine of us. Nobody went interested in that. Nobody went out on the banking. They were the banking students. They were the banking nerds, uh-huh. or whatever. So, I, I I will say that there are things that are taught in school, but people just from your maturity level, then we interested in it. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, let me tell you something. Just just to, to to that point, I wish that I understood the importance of probably taking the automotive class that went for in the hall. Mm-hmm. I wish I knew the importance of taking construction or something like that when I was in high right, school. Right, project management. Yeah, all the, I mean, it was things that were available. Right. I ain't want to do that BS, you know what I'm saying? And I agree. And I, I did take architecture in high school, but because I, I just wanted to do that. But, yeah, it's, there's always classes that's offered that we don't see as fun. Exactly. You know, I took home ec because <laughs> it were girls. <laughs> I mean, just to be honest with you, you dra- gravitate to what interests you, and I was interested in girls, so I would take home ec, you know, and all that stuff. Just because, you know, just because it was somewhere to be with how, the girls. So. How many cats could have took a semester or a year of cosmetology? Right. And you'll say, you've been going to save yourself thousands of dollars, way a lot more over the years, just know how to cut your own hair. Uh-huh. And, and, and I'm just saying, at the end of the day, I hear that a lot in, in regards to, you know, the finances, the economics not taught in school. 
Uh, it is. It is. The summer work program. Man, I'm trying to work on the summer. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is that the kids that want to know it, no, they learn it. Right. And, that, and that's real talk. I just don't think people, will, if you look back at it, because I just remember that was our magnet program. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I was in it. Uh, I liked it. But a lot of my partners, they did, they weren't interested in it. Yeah, they ain't interested in it now. It's just sometimes you're like, man, I got to damn do this. I don't know that. Now it's kind of like, the, you know, with that. My best friend, hey, Rick, been working on cars when we were kids. He took automotive all through high school. I was not interested. My cousin, too. Mm-hmm. My cousin went military. Me and went military together. He became a diesel mechanic. He doing real good. Right. He stuck with it. But at the end of the day, like, we got to be realistic. When we're young, because we say they should teach this in school, we should teach that. At the end of the day, people got to be realistic about themselves. Like, was you ready to receive that information? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. And nobody want to know. Man, let me, let me, for you to become an accountant, accounting is a very, very boring field. Right. And most of us that are accountants, we analytical people. We like problem solving and all that kind of stuff, math, which most folks don't like. So at the end of the day, you sit here and say that, I, you know, we should teach it. But I just think the vast majority of us not interested in it. Right. You know, people want to be in business, but he want to be in business. Why? Because you feel like, okay, I don't want to work for nobody. I want to do this. But then me and my dog, uh, shout out my boy Jane Payton. Me and Payton talking the other morning, like, you know, a lot of times people want to say I'm a boss. I'm going to do this and that stuff. But they don't want to deal with that real boss bullshit. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I don't have, I say, I don't got PTO. I ain't got sick leave. Right. Like, I got to make my schedule. I got to do it. If I'm not structured and all that kind of stuff, I, you know, because if you go to work, this is this what you got to do for the day. Mm-hmm. This is stuff you got all that set up for you. You you work for yourself. All that shit got to be, come on now. Right. You got to be built different. It ain't about getting money here, making money there. Because so many people go down that road like, damn, man, I got a schedule. I got to advertise. I got to manage. I got to uh, market. I got to advertise. Man, I don't want to do it. What, what the hell is this? Right. But if you go to work, all that done for you. Mm-hmm. And you got to be realistic with yourself about that but because our emotions i don't want to do this i don't want to do that we feel like okay that's something easier best you might see you know again um i'm 21 years in the game so if it looked like it's easy capucci do it you ain't seen poochie do the whole chitlin circuit right. do this and mess up that and you know what i'm saying like real real stuff now right, right. and i just think that a lot of times folk don't want to necessarily look at that side of it you know we're doing it you know business finances and all that kind of stuff it's cool as we get older then we said could we start we get older we start what slowing down we want to acquire things because now we're raising our families we want you know we say okay now i want to get the house i want to get the cars i want to go on vacation i want to travel but all that stuff requires money mm-hmm. and so we sit there and look like damn man if i had known this i had to did this that and that if they would have taught it but they did teach it but at the point when they were teaching it you weren't ready to re- you weren't ready to receive it right and I don't think nothing negative about that. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to be real with yourself. I just said, I wish. My grandfather was a carpenter. Man, what I'm, man, what's that, my building and fixing stuff. Mm-hmm. But I cringe when I got to, you know, deal with these folks because they know how to do it. And I ain't, man, I ain't. I done painted, hammered, sawed and all that. I do not want to do it. <laughs> right. Right? right. So we got that out of the way. I don't want to do it. Right. But still, I got to pay somebody to do it. And probably if I know how to do it, I'd probably be in and out with doing it. Right. But I didn't care to learn it. Don't want to do it. Now. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just wish I knew it. Would you account? Exactly. Right. So I think sometimes we have to be realistic about that. Even with, with, with our children. My, you know, I, I got established business. Mm-hmm. I, I have not one of my kids that have said, hey, Dad, I'm really up under you. Really, really ready to do this and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And typically, you know, we, we, we've had these conversations before. Most of the times... The kids don't necessarily want to go into the family business. No. You, the kids come in because the kids effing up. They got babies. They can't get a job. They don't got out of jail. Right. Mom and dad are tired to just take care of. Boy, come on, you work with us. And that's how that such happens. A, yeah, that happens. Because, mm-hmm. you know, the, you know when it starts such and such and sons, you know, the the son ain't really into it. Into it, right. Son's still out there breaking in the house and shit. After about <laughs> two or three years of going to jail, then daddy right. going to bring him in. They stick with it. Some, that ain't always the case. Right. But most of the time, from what I've seen, right. that the case and stuff. So I I, I, I just think that I, I hear that a lot, but what's not taught. Mm-hmm. And being informed is it. 
but you got to make sure that you're in a position to be to receive information because knowledge is the key that is it that is the key but you got to be ready for uh, to receive knowledge and to be able to receive knowledge you got to be able to be, receive what scrutiny criticism all this stuff that if you ain't ready for it man he hating mm -hmm. they tripping he trying to tell me how to buy this he trying to tell me how to get this house and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. now he getting you game you just in your feelings you don't want to receive it right right again like man uh, I talked to a young lady earlier today. Me and I were talking. I was just like, you don't want to surround yourself with people like, because you start your business. That's good. That's good. That's good. You want to have people like, no, that ain't right, man. No, no, I wouldn't do it. You know, and better bounce it up, man. I got, I got my mentors. You know that, hey, and I, I called my man today, man. I was looking at moving some, uh, 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 uh some money over from my old job. It's been sitting there, damn near like seven, eight years. You know, to do it. And I was like, man, the market didn't drop the money there. Should I move this, that, and that? I'm thinking I should keep it because I see it was this and that's this. He's telling me to move it. And I'm like, man, I'm trying to tell him my BS reason. Like he told me today, the damn answer's still the same. You need to do it because of that. Right. And what I thought about for a minute, yeah, you're right. He ain't telling me what I want to hear. He gave me game. What you need to know. It, 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 exactly. And the same thing with money because when we put the emotion ahead of logic mm -hmm. that's when we have problems mm -hmm. that's when we get overextended that's when we get in the bad deals mm -hmm. that's when we you know purchase stuff that that's going to devalue and not appreciate mm -hmm. because something emotionally it's pretty it's cute it's nice it's sexy you know what i'm saying right. and not looking at it like damn man if i pay that that's an extra three four hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. i need to be doing this and maybe i can get that next year right but no 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 <laughs> way to do it and we get dug in the holes, and it happens all the time, brother. Right, right. I you about to say I'm something. guilty of that. I, well, well I'm, I'm learning better, but I've been guilty of that. Like, I think a lot of people that I work hard, I'm gonna buy this. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, get this. Let me, let me say this. I'm not saying, because what what do people say a lot of times? You know, you got to live below your means. If you live below your means, at your means, you probably ain't gonna have shit. Right. So, <laughs> right. So, I'm not telling you not to have shit. <laughs> You know, I ain't telling you that. Right. But I'm saying, be realistic of the impact right. of, of your trip. You got to go all this, that, and that. You can experience it. I really experience it. it. You know what I'm saying? I got to have all yeah, the trip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the guys go to the DR? What they get all them exotic women? I ain't never been there for Colombia, <laughs> Rio. Yeah, yeah, Puerto the, Rico. Yeah, Puerto Rico and yeah. all this stuff. You can get your one girl. You ain't got to get that. All of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You can go to Old National. You want to get all them? You can't go all the way on and go come back broke. I don't think it's the same. I don't think it's the same crop. It's, it's I, don't same think, I don't think it's the same nah. crop. I'm sorry. I don't think the crop is the same. Because <laughs> compared to Puerto Rico and DR and Old National, it's just, I, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't think, I don't think the, the, the crop is the same, but I get your point. <laughs> You're going to get that certified street walker from Old National. <laughs> She has advertised bullet they, holes. They might be exotic, but yeah, three teeth. <laughs> got her flip flopping, walking all day. <laughs> I got you. Good point, right, lad. Right, right. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good if point. If I'm gonna take a chance yeah, on yeah, yeah. on that, I'm gonna <laughs> come <on> over there. <laughs> <laughs> that right. <laughs> like I say, yo. <laughs> Yo, what a damn lemon to look like a lemon. Right. Yeah, I, I, I right. got you. Put that, put that Bugatti body yeah, on yeah, the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least let the pretty car cut off on me. Right. You know what I'm saying? At least let the pretty car cut off. I don't. I, don't. <laughs> I, don't, I, want, I don't want to get in this broke down and I see it. I know. You crazy <laughs> here, man. <laughs> you crazy. I want the purple look while they break down at the hotel. Mm. <laughs> You crazy as hell. That's just me, y'all. That's just hey, the uh, me, just you. That's <laughs> the thoughts of. expressed by <laughs> by uh, the uh, dollar hour is strictly uh, DJ mm -hmm. Labs and not has no reflection on Mr. Short Dollar at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, you ain't by yourself. You, you ain't by yourself with that. But you know, again tonight uh, show we're talking about money and emotion. Nah, slick is not the same crop. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that is not old national crop and Puerto Rico and and then Dominican Republic crop. Not the same. <laughs> Sleep don't believe that. I know she don't. 
<laughs> they don't believe that kid. Daddy did. Everybody be on old nest. <laughs> right. brother, hey man, no, I gotta go. Them brother like, be in Rio, look, like yeah. Look, I can't. We can't go drive down on yeah. that. The streets so packed. Man, that's what I'm saying. They got a the big sombrero <laughs> on. I gotta go there. It look like freaking ninety five. Yeah, on, on yeah, yeah. <laughs> for real. I'm gonna go, man. I don't mess around. Got my passport. Right. Pooch is coming. <laughs> Pooch is coming, so I ain't a hey, point taken, brother. Point taken. Shit, you gonna go down there or take your take your butt to Crucial, right? You know. Oh. Well, oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah, exactly. Crucial DR. Oh no. Oh hell no. No. That boy's money is going to the no. DR. I'm gonna go to that trap. Right. I ain't going to the trap. Uh uh. <laughs> I want a foreign trap. Right. right. <laughs> That'd be crazy <laughs> shit, man. But you know, again, again, we start talking about it. We're talking about getting money and emotions. You know, with, uh, just say you put, put in a position where uh, uh, you start doing okay. You, you're going through life, you're progressing, mm -hmm. getting certain things, you're getting what you want. Does the feeling stay? You know, is this something that's, you know, that, that, that stays? Because again, sometimes, when you get your crib, you do certain things. We got different levels of contentness mm -hmm. where we feel comfortable. We, we're right where we want to be. Um, sometimes you're like, okay, I got it all. My kids grown. We're gonna do this, that, and that. You know, and then I'm chilling. And then sometimes we put ourselves, depending on way how you move and how you're thinking. I'm constantly trying to get something that I really can't uh, attain or even retain. Sustain. Yeah, sustain. There you go. Appreciate it, bro. You know, what's the lab, boy? Boy, one. <laughs> that man, now. Uh, the lab graduated 14 years old from high school. I can't make this shit up. Right. That's why I fuck with him. But then, you, 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 when you say those kind of things, like emotionally, when you put yourself in it, you know, do you put yourself um, uh, in a position where you can recover, mm -hmm. where you can do it? And if you do recover, you know, do you think differently mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that? I, I know people, you know, I know people that it seems that, you know, I've known my whole life. They always hurt. Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm trying to get this. Bro, I'm trying to do that. God but I'm hurt. Yeah. You ever talk to a young lady you done known her for years and they still hurt. just hurt. <laughs> you just always hurt. Huh? You're right. How are you always hurt? <sighs> you know what I'm saying? No major health issues. Right, right. No nothing, you know, whatever. How you always hurt? Right. How you always hurt? And there's something psychologically to whatever. Now, they've had some infusions here and there. Mm -hmm. I.e. income tax. Right. Uh, car settlement. Mm -hmm. uh, some phone scam. Right, right. PPP. Right. And, and after a while, short month or two later, they're back at square one. They back hurting. Mm -hmm. How the hell are y'all always doing it? But that's why I say psychologically, it's something in, 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 you know, in people that's differently. The song can sit here and say, "Well, look, I'm tired of it. I want to make a change," or they like, "Okay, get, I get it. I spend it. I'm gonna do this, that, and that." And I don't know. Outside of just at some point, just making a decision, how you fix that? You know, but you want to be, you know. The, 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 the videos that do the most that I look at are people that are selling financial dreams. Uh -huh. You know, with doing it. You, guys, you about to say something? Oh, well, well Slick said that um, people don't like to talk about money and then people grown and you can't really tell people how to spend their money. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Man, let me tell you something. I got people close to me that, I mean, you you know, I I, I put this out this all the time. People that, my close family friends she had no financial problem. They come talk to me for free. Right. So they grown, they don't want me to know their personal business, I get it, but you got to keep that energy. Right. Because I can't, I, I, once the eviction is sent, I can't, I can't fix it. I can't fix it, right. You know what I'm saying? Once the the the, the, the uh, garnishment is placed, I can't fix it. Right. I can fix it when we when the ship is sinking. Mm -hmm. Once this shit is submerged, <laughs> yeah. Hey man, hey. what's the walk, holes in the boat? Walk the, the plank. Hey, walk, walk the up. plank. You better walk the plank. Find your raft. If you were the lifeboat already, it's too late, right? Yeah. But I told you, this captain is not going down with the ship. Hell no. Not I this think one. A buddy. lot of times people will talk about, like me personally, I I I don't really like talking about money because 
I just don't like talking about it. it just it 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 gives me a a grimy feeling or something. I don't know. And I don't like talking about bills because I know I'm doing the best I can with what I have. And talking about them ain't gonna make them go away. So I don't. I just. I, that's just my personal opinion. That's just me personally. Um, I don't. Know, I think talking about money has always been a touchy, like a grimy subject to me. Like, why are we talking about it? Like, what? What? You know what it is. You know what we have. We know what's going on. Even with my ex-wife, she always want to talk about money, but she never kept a job. So I'm like, why are we talking about it? Like, what are you putting into this pot that's gonna make it bigger to make more money? I don't. <laughs> you, you're not yeah. going with my plans. You're not going with. You got real estate license, broker's license, college license, all these licenses and schools we need to pay for, and you are not doing none of them. So, why do you want to talk about this? A lot of people bring up problems that they they have, but they'll give you no the problems that you be aware of and they're aware of that you mm-hmm. already know is there, mm-hmm. but no kind of solution. They bring up the problem for you to figure it out. Mm-hmm. But shit, I know we. I, hell, I know the roof leaking too. But hey, how are we gonna get it fixed? Yeah, right. I mean, I see what you see. Right. But a lot of times people don't want to sit there and try to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And far too often, that's one of the things I think mess up uh, a lot of things as far as relationships and partnerships. I'm a little different. Like I love talking about money, not to from a stress standpoint. Like I said, I call my man today to kind of go over there. I like bouncing off ideas mm-hmm. because, you know, I can have one way I see it, but you give me another perspective. Like, damn, okay, cool. And I like that. Now, it's a different perspective on talking about, yeah, ideas and mm-hmm. and 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 bouncing ideas off people and figuring out this and that. That's that's great. I can do that all day. But a guy, I want to bounce off, you know, this this needs to be done, and you see what we got. How is it gonna get done? That's mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. Like, now I feel you, but the <laughs> idea may not be, the idea may still be something painful or uncomfortable for you. Right. It doesn't mean that, okay, this is a good idea. We can move with it. The idea still can be, I like, mean, this some, damn, bro, I really wouldn't didn't want you to say that, you know. And when you sitting there looking at that, like, I know it, but I really want to deal with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that doesn't mean it's, it's something that you want to right. address. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be at a certain point from your maturity uh-huh. to understand, like, okay, this is probably something to do because what's the old adage we talk about? A lot of times people say, you know, what you want to do, what you want to have. But we, we, there's a small percentage of people out here that truly, truly doing what the hell they want to do. Right. And so a lot of times, you know, you in that situation, you're doing what you got to do. Under the guise, you don't psych yourself out, you're doing what you want to do. Right. And, you know, the the, the, the ideas you're kicking, it's not necessarily got to be fun mm-hmm. or it got to be like, okay, cool, that's a good thing. You still be like, man, I know you're going to tell me that bullshit. Right. <laughs> Right. You know, because again, I called my man because I want—I knew he was gonna give me some insight, but he still told me what I didn't want to do. Uh-huh. But at the end of the day, who called who? You called him. Exactly. Right. So at some point, I gotta say, look, I can just get on the phone with him, argue back and forth, and shut the hell up and listen. Right. And a lot of times, people don't want to do what shut the hell up and listen. Mm-hmm. They want to call people and hear what they want to hear. Right. And you gotta be very, very careful when people. Uh, Cosign on your thoughts, and they just cosign it because they care about you, not because they know really what the hell to do. A lot of times, people ain't gonna sit there and be real with you, bro. I don't really know, man. You might want to go talk to Lab about that, uh-huh. and, and they'll just say, "Well, that's a good idea. Gonna try it." Like, no, if you don't know, I, I know a lot of folks that you, they do stuff. You be like, "Well, you know, this is cool. This is a good deal. Good idea. It was a good deal." And be like, "I'm asking you a question, man. You know, I don't really get in folks' stuff." Right, right, right. People put me in their stuff. <laughs> and I well, always I mean now one of the first questions I ask is, how, what made you say this was a good deal? What did you base that on? Mm-hmm. Besides your here verbiage. Here go. Oh, here go Pooch. Oh, there you go. There, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Here he go. Here he go. Uh, here he go. You always want to steal my joy. Pooch, you always want to get pissed on the prank. <laughs> right. But like I always say, we can argue opinions, right. but we can't argue results. And I'm a damn producer. Right. I'm a damn producer. <laughs> You know, we can argue opinions, how you feel, this, that, and that, what you think, but we can't argue results. That's true. That's and and true. a lot of times, when I call people to give me game, I know I ain't going to, I call because I need it, mm-hmm. not because I want you to co-sign on something for me. Facts I, trump speculation all the time. Facts trump specula- uh, speculations all the time. 
You can, spe you can speculate all you want to, but you factual, I mean, there's there's nothing left to do. You get what I'm saying? So you, you're right about that. No, nah, man, look, at the end of the day, I'm in the position I am right now because I looked at the people that were where I wanted to be and sustainable, mm -hmm. and I asked them what they did, you know, right, what they did wrong, if you can go back in time, if you can change things, what would you do differently, and get it. And I try to make it applicable to my situation, mm -hmm. you know? A lot of times folks don't want to do that. They want to get to where they want to be, how they want to do it. Mm -hmm. And if it was that easy, everybody would be comfortable. Everybody would be millionaires. Everybody would be. Right. It's a reason why everybody not, because everybody want to do the BS. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to be a boss, but everybody want to deal with the boss stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why you see people will leave their job, start their business, and be back at that damn job. Hey man, you know, I know I left, and I, you know, you told me, if, you know, if I want to come back, I can come back, you know, here I am. Mm -hmm. And then they got this smirk. Right. I knew, I, know I knew, knew it. I knew it wasn't going to work. Right. I knew it wasn't going to work and everything like that. Man, I'm tell you, let me tell you something. It's a fire in my ass so damn. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I left corporate America so effed up. <laughs> that you couldn't go back. That I couldn't go back. <laughs> The, 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 the young brother, Derek Grace, got the marks on his face. Uh, dread, the the tattoos. Yeah, the tattoos. And said, balls, everywhere. Tat yeah. Brilliant young man. Brilliant young man. But I I, 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 uh, uh, I don't know if I'd have did all that shit. Yeah, but I, he I, got tattoos it, to keep him from having to, get from having to come back. Right. And, 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 and I can respect that. I don't. I think I probably did some different shit, right. like send an effed up email or something. But <laughs> to everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I messed up this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Dad worked too but hard. I think his premise was not to just that one job to any job. You get what I'm saying? Like he I probably just sent a messed up email to the job he left, but he still may be able to get another job. So his premise was, I'm gonna do all this so I can't get any job. Yeah, and it forces him right. to do that. Right. Um, I, I. Shit, I could have think of other things we had to do, right. but again, whatever motivates you to do that. Right. But sometimes, but that do a lot to you, man. When you gotta, when your spirit, when you gotta adjust, man. Let me tell you something. If I want to go work for somebody right now, I'm gonna work for somebody because I want to go work for somebody, right. not because stuff didn't work or whatever. I didn't get a chance to follow my dreams to do that stuff, but it's gonna be because I want to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people, like you said, a few shows back, a while back. You know, when people start start wanting to be a boss and start work, starting their own business, they don't take into consideration the insurance is on you now. You know what I'm saying? That medical is on you, all that stuff. And you, you said it wisely a while back. You said you may have to keep that job to keep that insurance. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You may have a sick spouse. You may have a sick child. And if you go out on your own, you got to pay all that out your pocket. So you got to think about those little things when you get ready. Say a lot of people just think about being a boss. This is what you said. And don't think about the tangibles that come along with that. You get what I'm saying? Well, what everybody say? I want to get out of the plantation. Right. You gotta understand the benefits of the plantation. <laughs> a couple. You mana, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Right. You know Kaiser. <laughs> now, that ain't on the plantation. Right. <laughs> and you know your ass got diabetes, uh -huh. heart disease, your child ADHD. Right. Four, five hundred dollar pills and right, shit right. like that. Man, all right. You might want to. And you want to just leave shit. Right. All right, now. Because you got the stress of trying to create, start, run, and grow a business mm -hmm. on top of your personal stuff. Right, right. Man, who the hell want that? Right. Who the hell want that, and man? Every time you go to the hospital, you in the hallway. You don't get no room because you ain't got no insurance. <laughs> I say they do that all the time. I tell Steve. Oh, we gonna be good. We got insurance, so they gonna go get us a private room. <laughs> so they know they can be it. Right. I mean, let me tell you something, man. I didn't. I, I, I'm. I'm. The thought of leaving my nice little corporate job really didn't uh, resonate with me until my VA disability got to a point. Okay, I'm covered. Right. I got medical. Right. So you good? I'm good. Right. But see, I, a lot of people don't take that in consideration. They don't take those tangibles into consideration with starting a business and uh, being the boss, being the CEO of their company, and then those create money problems with creating emotions. Because now you still got the same same medical issues that you had when you was working. Now you now you just responsible for it. So that creates. I mean, those that money is a is an issue because you got to still pay those medical bills. Now you're just paying them out your pocket. Man, a, a lot sooner than you will be if you're working. 
and now you compound the stress on other people. Right. So you come home, your old lady, she was behind you when you wanted to, you know, start, you know, when you bought that damn home, that $2,000 custom made grill. Mm -hmm. Everybody posted it. You know, you making the best slabs and stuff like right. that. Shout out to, uh, what's this, uh, Blue Swift. Blue Swift. Woo! <laughs> I done went through this whole bottle on the show. Yes, sir. Is that smooth? It's smooth. <laughs> smooth. You know, it's from that Martell family. Blue Smith is actually a whole lot, uh, it's not as potent as regular Martell. Okay. But it's just, you know, you cool socialite. Oh, okay, look, You know okay, what I'm saying? Your okay. pub, you know what I'm saying? It ain't Scotch. It ain't like that monkey shoulder. Oh, no. Nah, <laughs> Scotch That's the best you know, name for you know. a drink I ever heard in my life, monkey shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't that Obon. Uh -huh. It ain't that Obon. That Scotch, you know, you got some, you know, $100 Scotch and, you know, you sitting there yeah, having a McCallie good time. Twenty five. Woo! Hell no. <laughs> Shit no. Lad, don't start with that. <laughs> yeah, you thought it was a good drink. Right, right. Yeah, no. I had one of them before, but I ain't know what it was. <laughs> Shit. We go ahead. We got us two, three hundred dollar bottle of liquor. Having yeah. a good time. Good sticks. Good liquor. Good conversation. Shit, this That's is what, life. What dreams made of, man. <laughs> Y'all be wanting to go to them cigar spots, man. Uh -huh. shit. Man, me and the bro get a good bottle of liquor, good stick. Uh -huh. Man, shit. <laughs> this is life. Right. And you want to put yourself in a position to that point where you're enjoying life. Mm -hmm. And here's the deal, guys. This is the thing about it, just kind of just, you know, bringing everything full circle. Money, because it does come and go. And we can, we can, I can agree, money can make life a whole lot more fun and pleasurable and doing certain things like that. But to that point, you don't want to get to a point where you're not enjoying yourself, enjoying your money. Mm -hmm. I remember, man, just you see stuff when you younger, people like be at the, the you know, you, you at the car dealerships, ride test driving that car, contemplating how much, you know, if you can get overtime, get a part-time job, you can get this car. If you do this, that, and that, not because you need a car, not because the point you need, because you, if you need a car, you can go get that little whatever. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Right. But because you want this car, mm -hmm. want and need two, two different, different things. Two different things. Right. But because they made it accessible, oh, we can put you in this. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, you qualify, you can get this. You know, damn well, you don't need that. <laughs> you Best for you to get that. that. <laughs> right. Because you can get that and still be comfortable and enjoying life. Mm hmm you going home after work, you ain't got to get no part-time job, everything cool. But because that that emotion kicked in, mm -hmm. now you don't put yourself in a position. Right. And do you really want that? Do you, do you really want that? Do you really do starting this business up? And again, I push entrepreneurship on anybody if you want to try it. But at the end of the day, sometimes, bro, you built for this. Mm -hmm. Are you built for this? Right. You know, and everybody ain't built for this, man. Right. They ain't, hey, hey, not be sometimes like, hey, bro. See, everybody can't be the chief. Somebody, somebody got to be the enemy. Mm. <laughs> oh, the chief stressed the hell out. Right. <laughs> this shit was, it was black a couple one point. <laughs> then was salt and pepper. The bitch all salt now. <laughs> you oh. think about when people become president, how young they look in the beginning. And by that fourth year. Look at Barack when he was, man, right. Barack probably four months in. Right. That shit just white then. <laughs> four, just Barack white. four months in. Right. So look at him. Right. Man, they done hey. got him in. Then I got Barack in them old uh, secret rooms and dropped them secret docs on him. Whoa. <laughs> no. We got to deal with this? Whoa. Right. Oh, right. shit. Man. Uh -uh. Man. Running that salon, dealing with women. I remember dealing with puppy pampers. Mm. Puppy pampers. <laughs> women in there fussing about she left her puppy pampers in the garbage. What the hell are puppy, puppy pampers? pampers? Now, what are those? Yeah. I didn't even know a dog had a pill. <laughs> no, everybody's like, you dumb ass. You didn't know. I, I, I didn't know. Right, right. You know, and, 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 and folk getting our women arguing about puppy pampers. Right. She used my shampoo. She did this, that, and that. In my mind, I got this alone. I made this money. Right. Oh, look, I got, I'm on estrogen 5.0. Oh. <laughs> All these women in here fussing about some of the stupidest shit. That you don't think is a big deal. But Poochie want to be the boss. Right. Poochie want to own these businesses and all that. <laughs> I done put all this extra stress for a couple hundred dollars or thousand, whatever a month. Uh -huh. Yeah, the money coming in, but shit, I ain't enjoying it because I'm putting out fires here, there, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got to be realistic about that. And I will say this, ain't nothing wrong with trying because you don't know what you can and can't deal with 
unless you try. Until you try. So you can get a try. But once you done tried it and it didn't work, be honest with yourself. Sometimes we get the education of life confused with, you know, uh, 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 us failing. What's up, my man Henry? Hen Doll 37. What's up, Henry, man? I appreciate you tuning in, bro. Thanks for tuning in. Hen Doll. I mean, good to see you, Henry. Um, and, and you ain't fail. Mm-hmm. You ain't fail. You just learn. That's all. You just learn. Laugh, laugh at me. I talk about that damn studio. I love that studio. <laughs> I thought I was going to be the short Suge Knight. <laughs> And music. Right. Yo, hey, y'all, right. y'all want to mess with some money? Get, start a record company. <laughs> start a record, uh, record label. Start a record label. Start a, start a studio. You got money to blow. Right. Money to burn. Man, these rap stars, these singers, they ain't got no damn money. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> no damn right. money. They take starving artists to a whole nother level. Right. But they living good. Yeah, they in that man shit. They all got Bentleys they and come Ferraris. In, man, they come in my damn, they come in my studio, some damn chains and shit. You like, what the hell? Hey man, can, can, can I get a credit on a recording and all that stuff? And you steady got rent to pay and all right, that kind of stuff. Right. Ain't man, it, it was ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Anybody got any uh, comments? GP said, "What it do, Mister Short Dollar?" What's going on now? What's happening? <laughs> Again, man, we had a good conversation tonight talking about uh, you know, money and emotions, you know, uh, and I and, and I think a lot of times, if we be real with ourselves. Well, you know, in regards to just not putting your your life mm-hmm. and where you at in comparison to others, you'll enjoy life a whole lot more. Right. And just appreciate your journey where you at mm-hmm. as opposed to others. Appreciate, man, my boy Lab doing this, that, and that. Now, and that's how Lab walk. Mm-hmm. Poochie doing this. That's how Poochie, Poochie walk. walk. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's walk is different. Exactly. Everybody's path is, is, is strewn with different obstacles. So. Exactly. Right, right. Exactly. And be real. To be honest, Lab was gonna be the number one DJ in the world when he when he when he was fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> I just knew it. I'm gonna go on college, I'm gonna get that degree, then I'm gonna be a DJ of the world. Well, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> My man was mixing up something. I came down, had that high five going. That just was was my dream, but I, the walk was different. <laughs> Lab had me think I was Tony Thompson. I like the way you kiss me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had that whole high five routine. That lab was rocking when I came down the stairs. Shit. Bro, you still there. You still there. Shout out to high five. You know what I'm saying? But uh, 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 but how that plan pans out with everybody else, mm-hmm. we don't know. Right. We don't know. I wanted to be this big tax mogul years ago. Right. Man, I started seeing the headache. Well, plus, plus the, the actual... Uh, uh, effect that was happening on my family where I wasn't there. I was, man, I'm telling you, bro, I was making the money, mm-hmm. but I wasn't making the impact on my family and right. children right. that I needed to be out of scale back. Uh, the, Dave Thomas, the founder of Wendy's, mm-hmm. it was funny. I was looking at his, uh, the documentary, his life, and how, you know, everybody was rich and comfortable. You know, he dead and gone, but they were just saying how they never seen their daddy. Mm-hmm. He's always, he always gone. And like they was just like that was just a thing like you know dad was never there, they loved their daddy but wasn't there. That mess with me, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I like being around my children, you know what I'm saying? Even though because what we to the point where I brought up earlier, you do all these things to build for your family, and then they get there, your kids don't want that, right? Because they say shit, I won't be doing that. I gotta be gone all the damn okay. time. Right, I want that headache. Exactly. Uh, GP will ask the the. Um Long Grant at the end of the show. He usually goes over Grant questions at the end, so hold tight. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I opened the flow up. So we done went over there, everything like that, man. So, again, I appreciate you guys having a discussion with me in regards to, you know, what we talked about tonight, you know, money and emotions. But, you know, at the end of the show, I opened the flow up. So if you got any topics, anybody got any questions in regards to uh, business, finance, anything like that, I opened the flow up for you. Since GP started with the first one, he said, what do you think about the student loan grant? Well, I talk about student loan grant. First thing I want you to do, check out the two videos I just dropped. One last night in regards to what I talked about uh, student loans. Uh, the whole thing with Biden just said what was that, that being the, the government has forgiven up to $2,000 for single and $20,000 if you're married or file ahead of household. Um, 
some basic stuff in regards to that. Um, they're not forgiving. They're not forgiving uh, uh, private student loans. They're forgiving federal subsidized student loans. Uh, the, uh, the Department of Education is working on uh, a new repayment plan. Uh, what they're going to be doing with that. Check out that video. I kind of went into depth with that. Also, in regards to even if you had consolidated loans over the years. I think it's a good thing. I think what I believe is, you know, because that was one of the things President Biden ran his campaign on in regards to uh, eliminating student loan debt or reducing student loan debt. Um, taking consideration from a realist standpoint, the man that had to deal with COVID, the man had to deal with Ukraine, the man had to deal with inflation. So, Again, to come back into it, I, I think he probably had a more robust or more things he wanted to do, mm -hmm. you know, three years ago than it was now, but take consideration what it is. I think it's a good thing. Um, I, I, I say this, and I'm a firm believer. Y'all check out my video in regards to what I did, why your child can't get a job after college. What I think people need to understand is, because what's done is done. So many times we accrue the student loan debt. For ourselves, our children do it. We need to make sure that we do be very proactive with our children and ourselves or what the hell we getting this loan for. Mm -hmm. Because if your child is not networking during college or they're not getting an actual degree that they can uh, 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 translate into certain money in certain fields or they may have to move or relocate where that particular job it may be on the other side of the country. It may be an international job, but they don't want to leave. You got to be realistic, guy, because now you're sitting on two or $300,000 student loan, mm -hmm. but the actual job may be at, on the other side of the country or somewhere else. You got to be realistic about it. Mm -hmm. Is it worth getting a history degree? We got $200,000 loan, but you're limited in what you can do. Right. And the fields that actually will pay for it, they're not going to pay you enough to compensate for the education right. that you got. That You just got to be proactive for that. I understand if you ain't never been to school and your kid going to school first time, I, I get it. But again, what I told you again, I had to pay a lot for my education. What I mean, not the education where I sat in a uh, classroom and got, but just the life education, the business education. I tell people a lot of times, you might, because what's the adage, school ain't for everybody. And it ain't. But you still going to pay for an education somehow. Either One for the, the person you paying for education or your experience education. <laughs> right. Somehow. Somehow. So I just think that, you know, it's just one of them things, man. And I think, unfortunately, sometimes people get in a uh, situation where they can't recover from it, take $10,000 off a $200,000 bill. Excuse me, how impactful that can be? I don't know. Right. But you just got to, well, they got to eat, you know. But I will say that doesn't mean, um, uh, now, that, now they did, um, they reduced the forgiveness period and everything we're doing it. But I think people need to kind of look at They have programs out there for doing uh, public service and different things like that to, to eliminate it. You go back in that whole conversation again. I don't want to be police. I don't want to do this, that, and that. But if you got to teach for a year or two to get that debt over you, and, you know, you got your job that you like, but you don't want to teach, you don't want to be a police, remember? I'm just throwing this out right, there. Right, right. Um, now you got to weigh it. Do it for a couple of years, get that stuff off for you, then keep it moving, go back where you was. Right. If you don't want to do that, just take it how it come. Mm -hmm. I went in the military to get money for school. People were like, man, there ain't no place for no black man, this, that, and that. I did it because I needed money for school. I did that. I got my education. That paid for it, whatever. I'm not telling everybody that's the route. My second son is on academy scholarship. Hey, bro, you didn't follow the blueprint I told you to do in school. Mm -hmm. P-Dog, if you want to do this, this is what you got to do. Because daddy ain't signed for no loan for your ass. Right. Because you didn't want to do what I would did before. And I damn sure ain't finna do something. And you get a year into it. And you don't say you don't want to do that no more. Yeah, I want to rap. <laughs> Hell no. All right. So look, you didn't want to do what I want you to do. Do what you need to do. And, and sometimes we just, we got to be accountable for what we did. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with it. But this is the blueprint. We got to make adjustments with it. I think I think it's a good thing. But again, it's, it's nominal. Right. It's nominal. In regards to the impact it can have, because again, what's ten thousand gonna do on a? a I mean, it, it, exactly. What the hell are they gonna pay for a semester you had? Yeah, they really gonna do that? Why? I don't think ten thousand dollars is a semester. I think it's a 
half a semester? Well, so that's about twenty-five thousand. Right? Well, well, when you was in school, it would have covered that. May right. recover the year. The issue come up is what you didn't have so much damn interest done accrued into it. It really ain't gonna have no uh, big impact. Right. So you just gotta be realistic about what you're trying to do now uh, uh, to do it, and, and, and you might have to make some uncomfortable decisions to kind of get you out of that. Uh, uh, with doing it. I understand, uh, I was fortunate enough to be being a disabled vet. I got a lot of stuff. Well, I got it all. I got it all. <laughs> you <laughs> Shit. You know, because I, I got some bumps and bruises, what I'm saying. But on the flip side of it is, too, it's just about being proactive with some certain things. So with that whole point of it is, I just think a lot of times, if you want to get out of student loan debt, you know, your options to get out of it, you know, are you okay with doing the the options the, to get it cleared out? And the options might be something you don't want necessarily want to do, or but they deal got with. yeah, you don't want to deal with. So that's how that is. Right. Um, we have to make kind of uncomfortable decision being there with life. I'm to be at a certain point in life. I'm at where I want to. I let me. I mean, I don't say that to brag. I get up and do what the hell I want to do every morning. Y'all see me, man. I posted. I'm at the gym. Right. I'm doing this. I'm having my midday smoke and all that. But let me tell you something. If anybody knows me, know the chitlin circuit, the grind I put in. Hey, man, I did that for that. Right. I did that for that, and I still work. Uh -huh. But I do what I want to do because I did what I didn't want to do. What you had to do. What I had to do. To get to, to, to right. get there. Right. And that's everybody. Right. And I just follow the blueprint of the people. I'm like, damn. That brother on here, they doing this, they doing that. They stress free. He's 60, 70 years old mm -hmm. with not no damn wrinkle. <laughs> not one wrinkle. Bro, what you do? <laughs> For real? What I yeah. Do. <laughs> he, oh, that stuff I don't want to do. I got to do it right. if I want to be like him. Right. And that's just how life goes because if life was easy and things were easy to attain, everybody would have it. Mm -hmm. Right? Everybody would have it. You know? Those cash infusions that you got with the PPP and disaster loans, they were easy because you had to fill out a piece of paper. But we see how, close, how quick that stuff gone. I understand people are not there all the time because they lucky. They did because they did some stuff that nobody else wanted to do. That's right. You know? That's the thing about it. So, again, man, was there any other questions? Anybody else got any other questions? Uh, I haven't seen no more. Going once, going twice, going three times. Well, look, man, I had an awesome time to get, uh, tonight. Uh, I apologize for starting off a little late, uh, well, more than a little late, with the show and everything. I appreciate Lab, you know, working with me and everything. It's been an awesome show tonight. Again, we talked about money and emotions. I hope you guys enjoyed the conversation. If you got any questions, you know, reach out to me, you know, again. Um, Mr. Short, I will talk about personal finance, business, entrepreneurship, and investing. We got over 400 channels on the YouTube, 400 videos on the YouTube channel. And we got a grant plays with over 150 grant opportunities for you guys to take advantage of. So regardless if you're uh, watching us streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever, the main hub is the Mr. Short Dollar YouTube channel. You can Google Mr. Short Dollar. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Take advantage of it. You ain't got to book an appointment with me to talk. Just spend a little time look at the videos. And if you don't find what you're looking for, then book an appointment, okay? Right. But it's, you don't have to make some kind of sacrifice of time or a little... Sweat equity, do this, that, and that. And I'm telling you guys, you'll have the success you want, okay? But be realistic about what, what you can do from a time perspective, a financial perspective, a capacity perspective, if you can re uh, realistically attain those things, okay? Wish you guys the best. I appreciate you tuning in. Love you guys. One more thing, guys. One more thing. We had 24,500 subscribers. That's right. Project 25,000. You're right. Help your boy get 25,000 subscribers <laughs> right. on YouTube. So I need everybody to go to Mr. Short Doll on YouTube. If you have not, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help me get to that 25,000 mark. Hit that notification button so you can get uh, updates on when the new the new grant videos drop. Also, check this out. But one of the biggest things, the reason why Mr. Short Dollar where we at right now, because my family at Misfits Radio, Misfits Entertainment, go to Misfits Radio on YouTube. Subscribe to it. Check out all the great shows on Misfits Radio, Misfits TV, all the shows. I mean, we got comedy shows. We got uh, 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 music shows, music review shows. You was the You High, uh, <laughs> Misfits Radio. Right. We got a comedy show Wednesday night. Look here, man. You ain't. You can go to Misfits Radio, Misfits TV on YouTube. Listen to me. And have your whole week full. Good. Monday through Sunday. <laughs>
Live show. Y'all still drop two shows on Sunday? Yes. Two shows on Sunday. Eventually it'll be three. Gonna be three. <laughs> That's what, ten shows? Yeah. Uh-huh. Ten shows. All live. So subscribe. Right. Misfits Radio, Misfits TV on YouTube. Right. Which right. one? Both. Both. It's, it's Misfits, together. It's together. Misfits, Misfits Radio, Radio and Misfits. TV. Subscribe to it. Subscribe to it. You got listen. And trust me, you know, you think I'm giving you game, you're going to get game, you'll get uh, 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 entertainment, you're going to get jokes, everything. So subscribe to the YouTube channel, Misfits Radio, Misfits TV. Guys, listen, listen, that's my family. I need y'all to back them just like you're backing me, okay? Love you guys. Be safe. If you miss anything, reach out. Got some good information coming out tomorrow. So just keep looking at the channel. Again, you know, like I said, hit that bell to get a notification each time we uh, uh, upload a new video. Take care of yourself. Love you guys. Be safe. And I'll talk with you soon.